Mm, mm. Hey, it's late, so I'm going to be kind of quiet because people are, they're probably uh, sleeping or close to it. REM, that's the part of the sleep where you start dreaming or your eyes move like that. Anyway, saw The Hobbit today with the fam and um, it was interesting, it was interesting. Um, I, I just want to talk about, because I saw it in 3D and I saw it with um, 48 frames per second. So it was like really sort of smooth sort of motion sort of thing. Different to the 24, the standard 24 frame, which movies usually are. Um, and a couple of things I noticed. Like first, when, when I started playing, I, I seriously thought the movie was in 3D. <laughs> in 3D. Of course it's in 3D. I seriously thought it was in fast forward. Because like that f smooth frame rate... There's so many more frames, it seems like, I don't know, it's reminiscent of things being in fast forward, like, um, uh, like if, you, if you're on, like, your, some digital like your DVD or something and put in fast forward, it kind of looks like how the movies look like when they're in that little bit of fast forward, it's, it looks really weird, it's unnerving, it's unsettling, it's like, oh, I'm going over here, oh, now I'm putting this, oh, now I'm getting, now I'm getting this, it's like a weird sort of fast forwardy thing, um, See, I didn't like that. I didn't like that. And I, I think it's just mainly because my brain is used to the standard 24 frames per second. That's like the classic sort of motion we're used to. Um, so I think if kids are brought up on 48 frames per second, maybe they'll think it's all cool. But I like I like the classic 24 frames. And the other thing I'd like to say is that I think with this 48 frames per second mixed with... Um, what are you, with, with the 3D, so 3D... It kind of, it didn't so much shoo, shoot things at you, although there were like pine cones and birds and stuff like flying out of the screen sort of thing. But one thing that I find 3D does, it kind of defines everything and kind of makes it look more in the real world, like not so much there popping out of the screen, oh my god, but it's kind of like that person's there, that person's there, that kind of really separates the person, this person's here, that person's there, kind of really makes them look like a separate part of the film, not like it's a flat film, it's like it's 3D, but... Yeah, it's not so much gimmicky, it just kind of adds a different layer to the film. Another dimension, no. Shut up, Sam. Alright, anyway. Um, yeah, so that part where it looked like... Everything was 3D, so it looked like everything was kind of separate from each other. And kind of in a real space. Mixed, I think, with the weird 48 frames per second. Kind of made a few scenes in the movie look a bit like it was real life. Like... In, in a bad way, because movies are usually artistic, like the 24 frames per second and this the flat sheet is like a moving pa moving painting, moving picture sort of thing. Not like real life. I don't, wanna, I don't go to the movies to look at real life. I go to the Sam Time vlogs for real life. Ooh, there you go. I wonder what frame rate this is. Sam Time News, by the way, 50 frames per second. Anyway, uh, back to The Hobbit. Yeah, it seemed like some things where it was like, it wasn't this mystical wonderland, it was these people in their costumes with these props doing this thing, rather than this cool, mystical, amazing Superland. That said, a lot of the visual effects were very good. It was an alright story stuff. Apparently, according to Ben, he's actually read the book and it doesn't fully follow everything that's in the book. It kind of... Apparently, it gets things from other sources, like uh, other things that Tolkien wrote and puts them in there and mixes them up. Things to do with the mythology of Lord of the Rings and Middle-earth and all that. Um, but no, overall it was pretty good. It was very long. <laughs> um, started at like half past nine, went, and we were there till like 12.30, so, yeah, three hours. So it was a decent sized movie. And it's, a, and it's only part one. They could have squeezed it into just one movie, but they're spreading it out to make more money. Mm. But it was cool just to be in, just to be in Middle Earth again. Like, um, the one line where, where it's even in the trailers, I think, for where, um, Bilbo goes, oh, maybe I should do a dubbed trailer for The Hobbit. Dubbed. Anyway, um, where Bilbo goes, um, I'm going on an adventure. That's pretty cool. I like that. It's like getting in an adventure. It reminds when you're a kid and you think about going on adventures and all these cool, wonderful things that go in your head. Mm -hmm. I should write my book. Made me think about writing my book. Oh, Got to do more of that. Anyway, so yeah, overall pretty good couple of weird things with the 48 frames per second and the 3D, but I reckon I'd like to see it. I'd like to have a compare that with 24 frames 2D version of it and see if it looks more... See if it still has that scenes where it seemed like people, actors with props and costumes in a studio rather than the amazing, wonderful thing. Mm. 
interesting. And it was kind of cool, like, um, the 3D and, like, it looked like actors in a studio, but then it had, like, things which couldn't be actors, like, trolls and orcs and that, like, who also looked like they were actors in a studio, but they couldn't have been, it would have had to be computer generated, some of the stuff they did, so it was kind of cool how it kind of looked real that way, like, it's crossing over a border where unreal things look kind of real, but still not in an artistic way, it's more of a, in a way I don't like. It makes it seem like real life when it should be like a mystical super wonderland and all that cool stuff. Anyway, that is the Sam Tucker Hobbit review. Mm, I think that made sense. It went it, it, tangents everywhere, but it, 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 it was all right. Check, check it out. Why not? I reckon check it out just for the novelty of the 3D and the 48 frames per second just to see what you think because it did kind of seem like the future and maybe I'm like a old person when they were introducing the talkies and it's kind of like, oh, these these films with, with talking in them, they're silly or more more to the point, probably the black and white going to colour I don't think that transition was straight away it took a while and people were still stuck on the black and white, they really liked the black and white they thought that was artistic, but maybe the 48 frames per second is the way of the future maybe I don't know if I want it to be oof, oh well good day. I'll see you next time Three more days of work till holidays.